Good morning YouTube and the internet. Today I'm going to put this in there. This is a uh, wiring specialties coil pack loom. Ordered it a couple weeks ago direct from wiring specialties. You can buy them in Australia. There are a couple of stockists. Uh, however when I was looking they were on special and it was cheaper to buy them direct and pay for the um, shipping to Australia at the time when I ordered it. So Ah, oh, fucking neighbour in his lawnmower. Just gonna have to power through that, I think. Um, so yeah, if you're up to date, you'll be aware that this thing has started, it runs, but it does have a misfire. So in order to ensure it's not this crappy old loom with broken plugs that I can pull off, Okay, not that one. Or that one. <laughs> ah, that one, yep. Um, yeah, the plugs aren't great. So, one potential cause for the misfire is that, that loom. Um, that has been replaced once before with another second hand unit, which was that one. It just might be too old and heat damage and stuff. So, that's one thing to get rid of. The other is the spark plug. So. I'll, um, I'll, or the timing. So I've got a timing light. I'll replace that loom. I'll touch up the plugs, make sure I've got everything right there. And stick the timing light on it, see if that cures the misfire. If that doesn't cure the misfire, um, well, the other problem could be all the fucking, uh, I didn't swear in the first minute, so I shouldn't get demonetized. Uh, all the boost leaks or vacuum leaks because of well, this is not on properly I've pulled some stuff off the back and things like that in my fiddlings so I button up that stuff as well and see if that makes a difference and we get a um, we get a clean idle and if we get that she's ready for a tune uh, if we don't, then the next next suspect will be fuel delivery, so I take out the injectors and have them uh, flow checked and cleaned. Uh, that's really the only likely causes of the misfire. I can't think of too much else that would cause it. Uh, yeah, the other issue, because I've had this cover off, I noticed when it was running this belt tension is probably not high enough so I'm actually going to have to pull all this shit off again and uh, retension that that tensioner pulley reset it a little bit tighter I don't, I don't want that thing skipping a tooth especially after all I've been through with it so um, yeah that is going to be a bit of a mission because I'm not going to be pulling the radiator and shit out this time I'm going to do it all with that in there in the way which is entirely possible, it's just not the easiest way to do it. Anyway, I'll get started on getting this coil pack loom in. I'll get all that crap out and we'll start by rechecking the plug gaps and, and everything there. Ow. All right, so I've taken the old loom off. I've pulled the coil packs out and what I've put in is the plugs that were in it originally when I pulled the engine. They were working fine. Um, they are hotter and a smaller gap than the ones that I was using to try and get the start. Um, I don't think that'll be the issue, but it can't hurt while you're there. Now the wiring special is loom, the plugs are numbered, one, two, three, four, five, six. This end goes on this end obviously. So let's put them on the Coil packs first. Uh, number six up the back. Lovely. And the main plug. Excellent. Up the front, but back two. A little 
unzip those. Just give a bit more slack there. I don't get too carried away with this because I still may have to undo it again. But if it's going to start to bend into a direction, I'd rather it be the one that was going to stay in forever. Okay, that's an excellent fit. Well done, Wiring Specialties. So now we start it. Um, it should start off its own battery now because it's been fully charged and run. So, but I have, I have started it again since, just once, to just to show my parents that come over. Just go, look, look, it starts. Uh, and it did start off its own battery. So let's try that now and see if it still misses. Or if I've got uh, bigger gremlins to chase. Like the, I don't think the vacuum leaks from the cooler piping not being tidied up should be an issue because it's uh, manifold air pressure so whatever the pressure is in the manifold is what it's tuning to so the fact that there's leaks before the manifold should be irrelevant I feel maybe I'm wrong but uh, unlike the MAF where it's sensing it before it goes into the turbo and then if it escapes it's going to cause you dramas because it's not getting the right amount of air um, in this sort of setup it shouldn't be an issue uh, in theory at least. So let's start it. See where the exhaust leak is, it's coming straight out of the top of this V-band. So that's not on properly. Uh, what did I change just now? Plugs and the coil packs only. That's why that timing right the other way. that I had in it. Let's, uh, let's try that out. I'll just clean them up and put them back in. Oh, throttle cable fell out. Hmm. from me doing it by hand so the throttle is closed then let me pop these screws back in here and uh, see if it'll start with a working throttle the throttle cable has actually fallen out of its thing here
like to do now is to actually let it get up to operating temperature uh, because it does run on ethanol it really needs the heat to vaporize the water off that gets um, drawn into the fuel so um, I'd like to see it get a full heat cycle so we do still have a misfire I've gotten it right up to temp and then what I noticed was the temp gauge actually started dipping you can see here we've got a coolant leak it's actually the cap that's leaking so I shut it off as soon as the temp started to dip because the concern is that uh, the air bubbles combined with a bit of leak um, we, we could be getting hot spots so I've shut it off straight away because um, if the coolant temperature is going down it just means it doesn't mean it's not getting hot what it means is there's air at the center and not coolant so uh, shut it off immediately I've got the belt squeal because of this coolant coolant dripping down here fan spraying it on the belts so that's not a drama we still have the misfire with both uh, uh, with those plugs in it so I had the other ones in it before it's made no difference the timing so when I bought it to retard it was worse when I advanced it it was better uh, and I advanced it as far as I could so it may just be a timing thing I don't think so but maybe where I played with the tune in the ECU perhaps I haven't got that set up correctly uh, so I've not diagnosed the misfire just yet but it's not um, uh, it's not too bad like it, it is a little bit better but it is still missing I could get some get some revs out of it uh, while it was running there before but I'm glad I finally got a full heat cycle into it now I've got it pretty much up to temperature that should help burn off any residual ethanol sitting in the heads from the oil and help burn it off out of any of the oil the oil will be changed before it goes to the dyno anyway um, but at the same time I don't want too much in it right now I'll, I'll swap out the fuel as well uh, so I guess the next thing might be to look at the injectors now there's only one problem with moving forward with this car I was actually made redundant yesterday so um, cars cost money and uh, while I get a payout for my redundancy I don't have another income stream yet so it probably won't be in tune until I secure a new job having said that I was made redundant, or not yesterday, I was made redundant the day before yesterday which was my last day uh, and I already had a job interview at 10am yesterday which I went to and it went well but that's going to be a few weeks off uh, actually turning into anything I think if it does so um, yeah that's why on a Friday I'm down here today um, having a play with this getting that loom the loom actually turned up to work the same day I got made redundant so that was that was happy coincidence that I got it uh, boss would have kept it for me uh, you know I've left on good terms with my manager so um, it, that shouldn't be uh, would, wouldn't have been a drama uh, I even stayed sort of back a little bit on the on my last day to finish a task that I was working on so he could uh, submit something which I was supposed to be submitting that day uh, well, the next day anyway uh, enough about that uh, unless unless you're all going to go jump on my patreon which the link is down below but I doubt <laughs> I doubt that's going to happen because uh, that hasn't happened in the months I've had it set up so that's a, that's a thing and YouTube certainly is not an income stream worth mentioning uh, my YouTube income is about $50 a month well it's now at about $50 a month which is the highest it's ever been but uh, you know it's yeah it's 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 a, it's a nice sort of bonus but it's not um, it's certainly not uh, living money that's for sure especially if you want race if you've got race cars but uh, yeah the harness from wiring specialties very happy with it looks very nice pretty it's probably going to be covered um, but yeah it's certainly a well-made piece of kit and um, yeah 
like I said, I went direct, but there are stockists in Australia, people like Kudos Motorsports, I think Golby's, uh, yeah, do a quick Google search, you'll find it, and I think on their website, on the wiring specialties website, they also have um, links to the resellers in Australia, which makes it um, a bit easier to find them. Anyway, that's probably going to be it for today. Uh, I've still got work to do on the 300. So two projects and no income. Happy days. Um, but I'll be right. Uh, I'll sort that out in my, in my own time and in my own way. And uh, hopefully it won't stop me from getting too much content out here in the not too distant future. Um, there's stuff I can do on the 300ZX still that's cost free. So... Um, and there's nothing I can do that's cost free on this, unfortunately. Because, uh, you know, cleaning, flow testing the injectors, got to pay someone to do that. And the tune, got to pay someone to do that. Uh, there's little things I can tidy up on the car, things that I haven't finished yet, like uh, doing up the last bolt on the diff to the tail shaft, which I couldn't get access to. Uh, have another play with that exhaust V-band because that is leaking. That's where all the, that's why it sounds like a top fuel dragster at idle. It's coming straight out the top here. Don't know why. Clearly I haven't got it fitted correctly is the reason. But uh, yeah. Um, you know, a few other bits and pieces like uh, putting the boot and everything on the gear knob, fixing all that up. Mounting the um, crap at the front properly, like that oil cooler that's sort of just hanging by a couple of bolts at the top, and and obviously retensioning the timing belt a little bit tighter, not a lot tighter, just a little bit tighter. Uh, the other thing, oh that's right, I need to get procure the bolts for the timing cover. I might leave it off though to take it to the tuner because he's going to just take it off anyway to uh, adjust the timing. Every time. Every goddamn time. I thought that light was a good idea. I thought wrong. Anyway, guys, uh, that's going to be me for today. Uh, I'm going to edit this right now, upload it, so you'll have a video today, unlike last week. When I didn't, I was quite sick last week uh, with the flu, so I didn't sort of get any time to, to do anything on anything and make any videos. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.